UConn women's basketball coach Gino Orima has voiced his concerns over the treatment of WNBA rookie Caitlin Clark, claiming she has been targeted with physical play. He acknowledged the typical challenges faced by rookies but highlighted the extra attention Clark receives. Is she facing the rookie challenges and hardships? Absolutely, Orima stated before the UConn Coaches Roadshow on Tuesday. But she's also being targeted. Clark, who was the number one pick in this year's draft, was shoulder-checked from behind by Chicago Sky guard Chandy Carter during Saturday's game before the ball was inbound. Initially deemed a common foul, the action was later upgraded to a flagrant foul won by the WNBA upon review. After the incident, Carter refused to address the media, a move Orima criticized as junior high stuff. High-profile players often draw extra attention from opponents, but Orima believes Clark's situation is more extreme. He compared her experience to that of legendary NBA players, noting, when Michael Jordan entered the NBA, or when Larry Bird and Magic Johnson joined, they weren't targeted to this extent despite the attention they received. Orima further emphasized, now's the time for the WNBA, and it's long overdue. Blaming Clark for this increased attention isn't fair. Many would trade places with her in a heartbeat, but they're not her, so they complain about the opportunity she's getting. However, some of Orima's former players see the situation differently. Rebecca Lobo, a former UConn and WNBA player and current ESPN analyst, offered her perspective on NBA Today. She acknowledged the unprecedented defensive pressure on Clark but dismissed the idea that jealousy or pettiness drives dirty play. We've never seen a rookie guarded so intensely, but until Chendi Carter's hit, there wasn't anything excessively dirty, Lobo said. Chendi's action gave a previously baseless argument some teeth. Brianna Stewart, the number one pick in the 2016 WNBA draft and two-time MVP, shared her views after a game against the Fever. Having faced Clark three times this season, Stewart remarked on the physical nature of the WNBA. This is the best league in the world. Nothing comes easy, she stated. Understanding and adapting to this level of play is crucial. The players here are the fastest, strongest, and quickest. That's the essence of the WNBA. Stewart emphasized the collective goal of elevating the league, saying, we aim to play our best basketball and win, but as a whole, we're working to bring the WNBA to a better place. By addressing both the challenges faced by rookies and the specific experiences of Caitlin Clark, Orima and other voices within the league highlight the evolving dynamics and intense competition that define professional women's basketball.